What's going on, mother truckers? So the big question in hand is, should you go to college or should you become a truck driver? Now, this is one of the questions that a lot of us ask ourselves. And I'm telling you right now, this is a breaking point. So listen up. I'm letting you know from my own experience, right? I have a four-year degree from a university and I am a truck driver. Let's back this up a little bit. My story is I was a Walgreens manager working graveyard in Sacramento from 10 o'clock at night was my starting shift. And then I basically worked till about seven o'clock in the morning. And then I got my butt ready for school at nine in the morning till about five. And then redo that again for about four years. So it was a living nightmare. You could imagine I wasn't getting any sleep and just trying to pull good grades was hard enough. And then at the end of all of that, my friends tell me, you became a truck driver. And I'm here to tell you, I'm glad I went to college and I'm glad I'm a truck driver. Now, what I'm really asking or what you're really asking yourself is, should you further your education or should you go out and get a job? I'm telling you right now, hands down, further your education if you can. This is no disrespect to people that have kids. There's no disrespect to people that have to go out there and become an adult early on in life. Everyone's situation is different. But if your situation is you have an opportunity to further your education or go out and get a job, I'm letting you know right now, just going out and getting a job is a big mistake. I've done both, and I'm telling you, having the education, it might just be for yourself. It might give you the confidence for yourself, but I'm telling you, out there in the world, it means something, okay? I'm not bullshitting you guys at all about this. So, whatever you want to do in life, whatever passion you have in life, I guarantee that it will mandate some sort of credentials. I don't care what you want to do. If you want to be a welder, if you want to be a mechanic, if you want to be a nurse, if you want to be a doctor, a lawyer, a police officer, if you want to be a truck driver, it all has to do with getting some further education. Now, why go to school if you know that when you go out there, you could go out and make some money? I'm telling you this right now. This is one thing that college, they, they don't tell you about. But it's not really about going to school and just furthering your education. They always say some BS about going out there and finding yourself. But I'm telling you, my friends that I've made in life were later on in life. And they weren't from middle school. They weren't from high school. They were from college and they were from work. Okay? Those are people that... I've grown very fond of. Now, if you know anything about entrepreneurship, they talk a lot about you are the average, right, of your five friends, right? So all my friends now have college degrees, okay? And and these are the friends that I hang out with. Majority of them, okay, have college degrees. And they all have houses. You know, they all are grinders. They all work hard. They 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 all basically have the the life that most people want, right? And they drive cool cars, whatever. And I'm telling you, when I became a truck driver, they were surprised. They were like, Alex, you know, you went through all this education, you did all these things. Why did you become a truck driver? Well, people in trucking school, weren't making that much money. I was already working at Walgreens making about $60,000 a year, $55,000, $60,000 a year. They were wondering why I was going. I was going in because my uncle, my family were movers. I knew the kind of money they made. I had experience in moving, and I knew that all I needed was a year of trucking experience, and I could go out there and make the kind of money that they were making. I had a goal already, okay? If I didn't have a goal set, I wouldn't just go out to be a trucker. Now, that's not to disrespect anyone that just likes truck driving or going out and finding themselves. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that 
I had the degree. I had the full-time job. I was looking to become my own business owner. I was looking out for myself and for my family. And I knew the kind of money that I'd make going into the industry that I was going into. Okay. So I'm telling you, so many people that are truck drivers that are friends of mine, there's somewhere in their head that they tell themselves that they regret not furthering their education. Because it's one thing when you choose to become a truck driver, when you choose to become a mechanic or a police officer or a lawyer or a doctor, it's one thing when you have the choice. When you feel that you're backed into a wall and you have to do this kind of work because that's the only way you can provide, but you always feel that you're sacrificing, that you're pushed down to the ground because there's no other option, you will get very depressed and you'll always think back, you know, is this really what I want to do? You know, so all I have to say is if you have the opportunity to further your education, do it. You know, I'm not telling you to go out and get a four-year degree. What I'm telling you to do is just learn a little bit about yourself and know that there's a great opportunity that whatever path you choose in life, that's the one you're going to have to walk. And sometimes it's in the wrong direction. And, and it's not me saying it's in the wrong direction. It's you saying it's in the wrong direction. But then you feel forced to do it. So should you go to college? Should you become a truck driver? That's up to you. But just know that. Where are your goals? What do you really want to do? And if you know your path, take it. But further your education just makes it a little easier. And you can make some some relationships and some friendships along the way. You know, because I wouldn't be where I am today without the people that I hang out with that have helped me think outside the box. And because of them, and because of the people that I've met while soul searching per se, you know, furthering my education, soul searching, I wouldn't be who I am today. So as a person that has a degree and is out there grinding, you're a force to be reckoned with when you have both. That's, that's the damn truth. You know, I feel like I, I could lose my job tomorrow. I'll just find another one. It's because I'm equipped with the knowledge and the confidence and the people to back me up to succeed. So hopefully this helps you guys a little bit. I'm not here to tell you what to do and what your situation is. But... I have lived through some of this experience and I wish someone would have told me. So I appreciate you guys. Peace out.